I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. A little different episode this week, uh, as I am feeling pretty jazzed, as I found out this week that I passed my defense of my thesis for my Master of Science in Data Engineering. Now, I did my studies at the Edinburgh Napier University in Scotland. Even though I'm in Canada, I took part in the remote program that they have uh, for overseas students, and it was a really great experience. You know, 18 months ago in the summer of 2020, we were all kind of locked up because of the pandemic and nobody really knew what was going on. And I decided that if we were going to have this kind of disruption ahead of us, uh, maybe I would take some time to try and do some study in the field that I work in. Now, I've been working in data related uh, capacities for a long time, uh, over 20 years. And I thought that it would be a really great thing for me to go and do some formal studies in this area since I was a self-taught programmer and I thought that it would be really good to help me to learn some new things but also, uh, you know, fill in holes in my knowledge and things like that. And uh, I took a step back and I said, you know what, let's go for it and let's go do a master's degree. Now I chose the data engineering uh, degree which was offered at the same time as the data science degree at Edinburgh Napier University and uh, I thought it would be a good fit because my background was very heavily in, in data integration and things like that and so <clears throat> that was the program that I chose and actually the program was almost identical to the data science degree that they have uh, it had a couple of courses that were swapped out for more heavily sort of systems programming and things like that as opposed to uh, the more data science-y type stuff even though uh, I did take a data science uh, and data analytics courses while I was doing my degree. And one of the areas that I studied while I was doing my data engineering degree was uh, machine learning uh, in artificial intelligence and more specifically deep learning which is what uh, I did my thesis uh, on using deep learning to study fire hotspots in forest fires in Canada. I would say the, the program was very challenging. Um, I found some of the topics quite difficult. Um, getting my head around deep learning and, and machine learning in general was quite difficult and uh, so it was a really great challenge. Uh, but at the end of it all, I think it was very worth it and, and was a really good uh, challenge for me to take on. What was really interesting to me was the wide range of ages of people that uh, were involved in this. Of course, uh, my professors were uh, anywhere from millennials to, you know, uh, baby boomers. So there was a wide range of, of ages in the instructors. Um, but also in the students, there were many other uh, students like me. Uh, I'm in my late 40s, and there were there were other um, students who were the same age. But also there were you know millennials who were taking uh, this program of study, and and uh, and uh, kids from that were younger than that as well. I won't call them kids. <laughs> now I did my studies online, uh, and. Uh, all of all of the content was online and it was uh, done through you know the Moodle um, you know classroom environment that I think is used uh, in many different uh, places and uh, we did a lot of online face-to-face uh, -face, but also you know classroom environments using zoom uh, or zoom type uh, technology and things like that and uh, I thought it was really uh, a, a fun and uh, interesting environment to learn in now, one of the great things about, you know, taking a program like this is that uh, it challenges you to use uh, addi additional programming languages, which was really great for me uh, because I use uh, a sub or small set of programming languages all the time in my projects. And this gave me a chance to really uh, explore some new languages. And so, uh, you know, I did a uh, NLP pipeline in Java, which was really cool. I did computer vision using Python and uh, some advanced uh, statistics and things like that in R, which was really, really cool. Um, some of those were new to me. Uh, Python wasn't really so much, but, uh, but the other two were, and it really helped 
to give me some perspective on using some other languages and sort of open some new doors there. So how will I benefit from doing a master's in data engineering? Well, as a self-taught programmer, uh, if there's any of you guys out there, make sure to comment below and, and uh, maybe comment about your experience as a self-taught programmer. Uh, but as a self-taught programmer, definitely there's always the, the sense of imposter syndrome uh, when you go on these projects and you know you've been programming for years and years and I think that having a, a credential uh, behind you certainly can make a difference and it can also help you get get your foot in the door for opportunities and other kinds of things like that. Now the last time that I went to school in university was uh, in 1995. I graduated so I went from uh, to school from 1991 to 1995 and there was a lot of big differences in the way that people act that I noticed between then and now. And one of those was uh, everybody's going around talking to their professors using their first names, which we never really did when I went to school. Uh, we definitely had to use, you know, doctor or whoever, professor. Uh, and so I did notice that that was a big change uh, from when I went to school. And the other thing was, is that I noticed that uh, you know, like everything's online now, like you, you don't even pick up a book. Like, I mean, I, I think, you know, maybe somebody orders a book from Amazon once in a blue moon, but generally speaking, everything that you possibly could want to study is online, which makes it way easier, uh, which makes, you know, guys, guys like me who sort of want to find a nice fast way of getting things done. It's, it's a nice way of studying because you don't have to sort of make those big trips to go to the bookstore or to the library or whatever. Now my degree was in economics and I did that a long time ago and a lot of the things that I learned in economics are actually very applicable for uh, data science and data engineering roles. In particular, uh, the amount of statistics that you do in your economics degree is a really big benefit and can help you to, to uh, understand the concepts and the exercises that you'll be doing uh, in this degree. So all in all, it was a lot of fun. I met some really great people and uh, I feel like it was a really great uh, study environment. I learned a lot and I think that it's gonna be a big benefit for my career. And I think that if you were to do the same, it will definitely be uh, worth it for you too. And if you have any questions, you know, or, or comments about, you know, uh, my experience or your own experience, if you want to throw those in the comment section below, that'd be really great. I think uh, this is kind of a neat topic and uh, a lot of people could benefit from it.